Scylla. No laws, no lines, and a whole lot of guns. I love this place. I only ever seen this asteroid in the pages of thrilling space adventures. Thank you. 
seen one of these before. This here's a uh, planet maker upper? A terraformer, that's the word. There's no credible research on the health effects of standing directly under a terraformer, Captain. In case you were wondering. We're one with the shadows, boss. Ford had an asteroid mining operation out here. What happened to him? This is the right place if you want to trade contraband, or hide smuggled goods, or do anything fun, really. All right, hushing up. Looks like we're doing this! Ford had an asteroid mining operation out here. What happened to him? This is the right place if you want to trade contraband, or hide smuggled goods, or do anything fun, really. Ford had an asteroid mining operation out here. What happened to him? This is the right place if you want to trade contraband, or hide smuggled goods, or do anything fun, really.
On the move. You know, you didn't have to... Tremendous work, friend. Here I was, readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Why does that sound familiar? Uh ah, -uh, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. Hello, Ellie. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. It's Dr. Fenhill. I certainly know his ex-crew. Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. How cruel you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we... We did not. Oh, fine. But we almost... Keep going and you're gonna see how good this automech is at picking up teeth. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. 
You tell her these Olomecs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Well, I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Then, to the Groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late, then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. Those fees will bankrupt you. Back for a rest? Space adventuring is tiring work. Destination reached, the Groundbreaker. Those purple berry punch. You want a punch? You don't have punch, right? Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of Sick Bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough.
Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments? Be brought on board. Who keeps ordering these? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. Oh, that nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys? She seemed to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading for Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Cause I wanna come with. This roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck-up. Good to see you, boss. 
Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than Rungleech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Oh yeah, I had a prison cell back on the Groundbreaker. Carved my name on the wall. I wonder if it's still there. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. No security. Not that I'm complaining. 